always tracking. This is Next Weather. Tonight, our Next Weather Chief Meteorologist, Ivan Cabrera, is the bearer of some good news. Finally, like right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I had good news about the cool down, but then uh, we got uh, sidetracked there with Sarah, which we'll talk about in a second. A nice, tranquil uh, night, I guess, at the beach now as the uh, sun is setting. Temperatures are right now in the upper 70s. Wow, that's comfortable. The uh, humidity is down, dew point 63. Uh, a little humid, but not too bad. And that is going to start coming down as well as we get this second front. That's the one that's going to bring us the cooler temperatures, particularly on a Saturday morning. I'm going to wake up. It's going to be a fantastic temperatures in the 60s and it won't be cool in the afternoon. We'll get in the low 80s with low humidity. So uh, about as perfect uh, weather as you can get heading into uh, the weekend here. Upper 70s, low 80s right now. We're going to be in uh, the uh, uh, 70s as we hit through the uh, overnight and still a bit humid. There's 67, 68. That'll feel a little bit sticky, but uh, we're going to have dew points well below 60. In fact, some 50s out there. So that's what's going to make it feel refreshing. The actual temperatures won't dip into the uh, 50s. So tomorrow, because the front will be to the north of us, we're going to tap into a southerly wind and that's going to warm us up briefly. So tomorrow temperatures climbing into the mid and upper 80s uh, with some isolated rain showers. That would be about it. Front comes in Friday night. That'll set us up for the nice weekend coming up Saturday morning, cooler than Sunday morning, but both doing it just fine. And again, the humidity will be gone and we're not going to be talking about rainfall there. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, we start warming up again. Not going to be too bad, but a little more humid and a little warmer, particularly uh, through the early part of the week. And then on Wednesday, this is the next front that's coming in behind this front. We're likely going to get the coolest temperatures we've had so far this season, but that's for late next week. Out ahead of it, the main story on the late Tuesday and Wednesday will be this moisture that's coming in. And yes, this moisture associated with what will be left of Tropical Storm Sarah down in the Caribbean uh, right now. Next weather rain tracker for your Friday. There's the wind shift uh, coming in by the time we get into the evening hours. This moisture, uh, this front is moisture starved here, so it's not going to do much, but there's that wind shift coming in out of the north and northeast, and that's what's going to bring in that uh, refreshing air mass. There's your Saturday looking good uh, with just a few clouds coming in off the water, and we're going to be in that comfortable range as far as the humidity. So back to Sarah here, which is again a tropical storm there, and Honduras will get the worst of it. They're flooding for days because it's going to take a while. Sarah's been left behind by the steering currents, and so it it won't be until this weekend where things begin to move, but all the while uh, it is a broad system here and that's going to continue to bring us uh, some uh, rainfall there. And then eventually, as I mentioned before, the National Hurricane Center is dissipating this on Sunday over the Yucatan. Watch our uh, latest uh, modeling here. This is a European and it's just this this broad low, not so much a compact you know, hurricane at all. It's going to be a tropical storm for them. And then eventually, as I mentioned, that moisture gets scooped up by this front and that's what's going to come in and give us that rainfall. It's showed you particularly through the early part of the week. Tuesday, Wednesday look to be the wetter days. There is a forecast for tomorrow. Fantastic kickoff to the weekend. The weekend itself looks stellar. Temps in the low 80s with those overnight lows in the 60s. And then there's that rain chance ramping up with the remnants of Sarah for the middle part to late next week.